lost in the craziness of the game with Christine scoring 185, you scored your first goal. Yes. Uh, how was that experience like to finally get the to get your first as a Canadian soccer player? Um, well, I was shocked at first. Um, I know that our team has really been focused on Sinky, and like I was so happy that she scored. And then for me to score, I think was just a really cool thing to kind of just top it off. Um, I was a little bit in shock, and the next thing you know, I turn around, I'm being carried by Sophie Schmidt. But um, it was really cool to get my first international goal, and I was really proud of it. Do you wish, in a way, that sort of you had a chance to be a little bit more focused in that situation where you score your first and not sort of in the background with Christine, or is it just cool to be a part of the day on the score sheet? Um, I think, honestly, I was just more caught up in the moment that I got to share the moment with Sinclair, because um, for me, like, I'd, I've been watching her on TV since I was a little girl, and to be actually on the field and for her to break the record the same day, I think it was really cool, and uh, I wouldn't take that away from her, and um, I know that she was really proud of me, and she congratulated me on my first goal, and I congratulated her on her 185th, so I, it was cool either way. And you had the chance early in the game, five minutes in, you almost scored it then. When you have a good start like that, do you does it help you focus a little bit more and get into the game earlier? Um, I think the girls were telling me that even though I missed it, it was more about um, kind of how it brought the team together. We kind of made St. Kitts kind of realize that we were coming out really strong and it kind of set the mood for us knowing that like we knew where our whereabouts were and we knew how we were going to take the match. So um, I think, yeah, having a quick break rate like that kind of just brought the energy for our team. With every win in every game, the semifinals get closer, which means the chance to play in Tokyo gets a little bit closer. Do you allow yourself to think about what it might be like to be an Olympian as it gets closer to the semifinals? Um, I mean, yeah, the thought has crossed my mind. Being able to be an Olympian at 19, that would be really cool. Um, but we take it game by game. Um, right now it matters about who we play next, which is Jamaica, and we're going to focus on the, the games that come, and um, we're not going to fall far into the future. What was your reaction when you did see Canada in the Olympics? You mentioned watching this team since you've been a little kid growing up. What was it like to see the medal and did that inspire you as a young girl to keep pushing? Yeah, so when they actually uh, got the medal, we were in the, um, the U17 CONCACAF, so I was actually away trying to qualify for um, our CONCACAF. So it was really cool to see that we were kind of wearing the same jerseys as the girls that just won an Olympic medal. Um, and for me, I just wanted to be on that podium one day.